All right, guys, we're playing Aatrox top lane on today's video again. We're playing Aatrox this time versus HO get top lane. And for the runes, uh, we now have Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, specifically Bone Plating, and then also Overgrowth. Now, this game, we're going to have a super fun time because... Um, Chogat matchup is something I haven't seen in a while. And Aatrox into Chogat is like a dream matchup coming true, honestly. Um, so while he does have a lot of poke and he basically hyperscales this matchup, I can just Q for free, like the entire lane. And I get to hyperscale for free, we get to snowball the game extremely easy because of it. And you can honestly build anything you want into a Chogat. Like anything. This game, I'm definitely thinking towards going for Profane Hydra early, or going for Eclipse. Alright, we have a fantastic start, not even losing a single last hit. I think that Kha'Zix, um, probably past top lanes, are definitely going to get into a uh, 1 versus 2 very soon. Definitely. Ooh. Very good. Not losing that one. Not a chance. Alright, let's back off. So, I have the choice to, you know, in theory stay around and try and poke down Chogath. But I know in the back of my mind, I know that their jungler is pathing top lane, right? And as you can see, I was right about it. He actually did went from here to here. And instead of going top lane, he decided to gank mid lane instead. So this is like the, the way how you should be uh, thinking when you're playing the first couple levels out, right? You need to know exactly where the enemy jungler is pathing to and what your plan is, right? That's like, if you know exactly what you're going to do, you can like build the wave in a specific way where you can reset, you can buy items and then come back stronger, right? So now I know that Cossix is probably here. I know that Cossix is still top lane right, right now. So I have that in my mind. I know he will come back. So what I'm going to do is I'll just thin the wave out uh, far enough to the point that this guy cannot reset. And I'll just gladly wait until uh, car 6 is gone. Or I'll just pay very close attention to to the map. That's really it. Just don't play too aggressive. So as you can see, I can use my E right now and I can try and hit him on the center. But um, if I keep my E, I can keep myself safe and still die. kidding Wait. you know that's the worst part i know exactly cosmic is coming top lane and then the q placement from cho completely wrecked me and i'm still dying feels bad man yeah that's certainly going to impact my lane that's also a thing that can happen you know that someone's going to gank your lane and you still die feels bad man i hope i don't lose too much yeah mistakes are made I still played too aggressively. I thought I could walk away from it easily, even after I could hit like a couple Qs. But yeah, whatever. I hope he doesn't come back with um, with his steel caps. Stack the wave up. One of the biggest mistakes that people make all the time is that they are shoving the lane way too hard to the point where they don't get to fully stack a wave. Stacking waves is the way how you win lane phase. That is the way to do it. Where's the... Uh... Oh, nice knockback. This guy's getting payback. Very good, very good. That's payback right there. For the fact that I got ganked before. Okay. So at the end of the day... It didn't impact anything. He does have TP, so he didn't lose. He's not losing anything. All right. So, um, knowing that before I tried fighting him and I died because of the jungler, right? The most optimal way in top lane right now is to go into Eclipse. I was thinking of going for Profane Hydra as the first item because this gives me the, um, the lethality damage and everything else and the AoE. Um, I think it's a better idea to go into Eclipse because Eclipse provide me the effect, the, the shield, which allows me to trade 
Chokeath more aggressively without taking any damage. So that's going to be the solution. And I just went for the wrong item. I was actually supposed to go Warhammer because I don't have... <laughs> there is no path for a Serrated Deer. So yeah, that's fantastic. Accidentally went back in time. Back to uh, season 13, I guess, for a second. It's funny because it's been several months already. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, how one season can stay stuck in your brain for so long that you're accidentally building the wrong item because the item path has been changed. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Okay, Cossacks is top lane with the cane. It's getting forced on our tower. Okay, we got the wave stacking up very slowly. Which I told you guys before, if you stack waves, is the best thing you can do. Because the bigger the wave is, the easier you can trade the Cho later on. I'm going to shove this out because the Cho is, is chasing my jungler down. And I want him to lose as much as possible. If he continues to chase at the very least. Seems like he's here now. It's a, it's a decent trait. As long as I wouldn't take the extra damage. Hmm. Still hitting it. That's the most impressive of all. I think that that backport is not real. I don't think he's actually backing. Okay, let's just hold it. The thing is that um, he uh, does not have mana right now. I don't know what that guy is doing, but he's seriously trolling. That guy is trolling for sure. Back, please do it. Yes, he's backing. That's a mistake. That's a serious mistake for him. So he messed up big time. He taken too much damage. And now he's forced to back off. And the reason why that's so bad is because I got a massive wave right here. So not only is he losing the cannon, at least I hope he doesn't lose the cannon, but I'm also getting plates. So let's see if he, get, if he loses it. Yes, he does. This is a massive, massive mistake he made. Let's go for this, and then uh, we sell that and go for this. So, um, usually what I like doing is I like to go Warhammer as fast as possible for the ability haste. But um, since we had about 1.3k gold, what I can basically do is I can build a pickaxe and then buy a longsword and then still have some of that gold remain. It's actually a very, very optimal wave building. You can also go Warhammer Longsword, which is like an alternative. But then you still need to buy the pickaxe, which is a very hard item purchase. So just think very carefully about how you um, how you build, as that way you can get more damage. Slash, you can be more efficient with the item path. It's often like a lot more important to prioritize the pickaxe. Um, instead of going for the usual longsword warhammer. It kind of depends on the amount of like value you have. So Cho is now roaming because people are starting to fight for dragon. He's going for an early rotation. Which in my opinion is a very, very, very bad play. Because even if he helps the team, he will lose the full wave here. And it's going to put him further behind. So again, I'm going to go for the wave. I'll do it as fast as possible. Nice. And now I'm gonna f I'm gonna stop the Cho. Okay, he lost a very large portion of farm. He's actually falling behind. He's making the wrong decisions. I keep catching him. On, uh, I keep catching him on the on the mistakes. So very good. Again, we push this one. There's a reason for it. I have 1,000 gold. That doesn't matter if he hits that one. He doesn't have a lot of mana anymore. Oh, that's a bit of damage. 
So now I can buy Eclipse in 100 gold. So Cho'Gat is about to have a serious problem. Oh, nice. I'm going to drag the wave to the left side. This forces Cho'Gat to move forward to try and fight me. And we simply don't touch the wave now. Let's see what happens. So we keep track. Okay, we shove now. And he's going for TP. That's fantastic for me. Choget does not have enough wave clear to fully push this in for plates. At least I don't think he does. Because he's going like pretty tanky. We'll uh, see. Maybe he is actually faster. Okay, he's faster than I thought actually. I'm still backing off. There's a reason. Um, if I stay around uh, with like 500 HP, he can hit the combo and hit ult and then I die. So it's better if I buy item and accept what the situation is. And just not fight him. So I can, uh, you know, play it safe. We're basically trading a backport and losing the full wave for a teleport. That's kind of how you want to see it. But of course now I have Eclipse, so the fight is going to be much easier now. Sidestep failed. I want to kind of drag the wave out. Wait. I want to try and force Cho'Gath to walk back into me. But it seems that he's going to rotate again for the second time. Yeah, he seems to be rotating again. So we shove this out as fast as we can. I don't know why this Cho'Gat keeps falling for the same mistake. He is, he's actually rotating again and it's going to cost him the laning phase now. I suppose he gets to live for a couple times. I'll make sure I don't touch the tower. I want as much of the farm to be lost as possible. So that Cho will fall behind more. Seems like he's still in mid lane. He's making a terrible mistake doing this. Okay, we take it about now. Let's push this out again. Same way like before. And that will push it. Now we just fight him. Super simple. There's no one up here. I got silence. I couldn't use my ability. Since that cost exists in mid. We have all plates, like... We just super good. Hmm. I think that Kha'Zix will eventually move top lane, so I'm just gonna play it safe now. I'm probably going to get ganked at some point. Does not seem like he's gonna cancel the backport. Nope. Let's go back here. So the next item we are building into will likely be Mercs. Um, yeah, it's going to be Mercs. And we're going to start building into the next item, which will be a Profane Hydra. And Profane Hydra is good because it allows the wave clear top lane. Uh, you get the jungle camps a lot faster. You have a lot of damage. Let's go for this one. This is the item path for it. I think I'm going to upgrade this Serrated Dick into Edge of the Night at some point. Everybody's playing so safe. I don't think he's going to be catching him. This is a very slow game. The enemy team is just playing it mega safe. I think that show might show here. He's actually rotating back to mid lane. So I'm going to follow through with it. Okay. We have one guy coming over. Well, too bad for him. I'm glad I did the rotation. Got it all. Seems like he's still up here. The Katarina is constantly rotating bot lane when Cho gets is rotating mid. So there's a reason why the enemy team is doing this all the time. 
I fully understand why. I'm going to push out this wave and then immediately rotate back to mid because Dragon is now available. And we need to fire for Dragon. Okay. And now we instantly rotate. We cannot go back. We can't reset. We need to go back to mid lane. Back to the dragon. Uh, got my teammates dying here. Not good timing, unfortunately. There you go. That wave is lost. He's not getting anything. And let's see. There's probably vision. He's throwing the ability down. He probably knows. Too bad. I'm Aatrox. <laughs> Let's push this out. See, like, we're constantly making the better choice than Chogat does, and it's actually starting to pay off so well now. We're getting- we're starting to gain a lot of leads. I think I might push down another wave. Um, this will give my teammates more space to be able to do dragon as I can uh, walk on the back of the enemy team and fight them if they walk up. We need like 950 to be able to buy the complete item. So I'm a little bit considering just staying around just so I can buy it. We have really nice farm too, like we are almost running a solid Tensius per minute, the way how we are playing it, so we're playing it very consistently. There's very little to no mistakes so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Free catch. Two point seven k, well, two point nine, uh, two point eight actually. So we need a little bit more to be able to buy my item, and we can get the complete item immediately. That's the best part. Now we go back. This is a massive power spike because we've just we've been staying the entire time just to be able to buy Profane Hydra, and we are actually getting catches along with buying the item. Really good. Really good. Uh, next item we're going for is going to be Edge of the Night. It's been a while since I built that item. But it's still super solid on Aatrox. It's still very much meta, but people are building a lot of other stuff too now. I don't know if Kale has some spells. No. I might be able to catch him. I have no idea why he walks back into me. Oh, we got him. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll take that. So as you can see, we're actually making it pretty far into the game now. Unfortunately, the game wasn't as exciting as I hoped for. Joe Gatch is playing it ultra safe. But uh, making the better decisions the entire game straight, we're actually making it in the game now. We're already ahead of everybody in the game. Oh. Okay. Nice. Including Cho now. Very good. Keep in mind, the dragon will spawn again within... 2 minutes and 25, that means that we have to be preparing the dragon at least one and a half minute beforehand, so... Um, what I might consider doing is not resetting at all. I might not do it. Because all I want to do is keep on pushing top lane, and then making the best rotation. 
Um, because in this game, like, Cho is running teleport, right? Teleport wins all the time. But if the wave is completely pushed in and I rotate at the exact right time, um, I can just make, like, a very effective rotation. And TP will not matter. So that's, that's, what, I'm, uh, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm just going to push this out again. I do not want this wave to push further. So again, we just clean it up. I don't know what this guy's doing, but I, uh, I have the advantage. I'm stronger. There you go. TP doesn't matter anymore because he went for the fight. He chose to kill me. I killed him. And Dragon will spawn in 1 minute 12. So I can just stay top lane again. I can just prepare it now. And I do not have to worry about Cho anymore. I'll push next wave too. All in preparation for the Dragon. Looks like we uh, have some, uh, some company here. There you go. That will push in. I'm staying around as mentioned before i have a lot of gold but i want top lane to be fully prepared so i'm staying around and now we push this wave and then we reset we just need to push this wave and that's all we have to do we don't need to fight smolder we just have to push it really simple okay now we reset there's two people, no, three people are top lane right now. Three people, which means I don't even have to back. My teammates will win automatically because it's now four against three. Or four against, uh, four against two. These guys are trolling. These guys are super trolling. The dragon is spawning now and there's three people top lane. So we automatically win the dragon fight. It's four against two now. So we just have to keep these guys up here. We do not let them walk away. We don't have to fight them. We just have to keep them here. And there you go. Nice. There you go. My teammates are winning, which is not surprising to me, honestly. It just makes a lot of sense. Let's go into Shoujin. Nice. And uh, we're going to go bot lane now. So why go bot lane, right? Super simple. Dragon is gone right now. So if I go top lane, it doesn't make any sense. Because if I push top lane, I will be closer to Baron for a fight, which is a good thing. But um, bot lane will likely get pushed in with Cho TP. And it will be... Uh, bot lane will get absolutely wrecked, right? So it's better to go bot lane, push it out, face off the Cho myself. And then when it's completely, you know, deep down bot lane, uh, we then rotate for Baron. So all that my teammates have to do now is group up. And if I play my part of the, of the map then we should automatically win the upcoming team fight. So we're just pushing this out. There you go. And I'll take jungle camps along with it, as long as it's safe. I don't see anybody on the map at the moment, so... I'm not here to 1v2. I'm just here to clean up. I walk away because I see nobody on the map. I can be one versus five at the moment. We don't know. So I'm just doing my combo and then we just back out again. And now we chill again. So we only see Kateri now. There's still like three other people missing. So I'm not fighting Soraka here because again, I don't see the entire enemy team on the map, right? We need to know exactly where people are. Again, I just do my combo, I do my part, and then I back off. Because I still don't know where people are. So I see four people now. Which means I can do whatever I want to. Uh, my teammates have just died. Very bad. Okay. So Cho is now farming bot lane. So we're gonna run up to the team fight as fast as we can. And we'll just one for two by myself. Oh, this guy is definitely dead. Or not. <laughs> He's running very quickly. 
I'm gonna 1v3. Uh, never mind, I guess. Hmm. I can take it. Hmm. So we got nobody in the end. Hmm, okay. Yeah, no problem. We will eventually we will eventually be able to win the team fight, so it is what it is. It's okay. Just give it time. We will uh we will come back with a fresh item in a second. Yeah, I got my Shojin now, so we're gonna come back way stronger. Very good. We got Red Trinket. Now, why go Red Trinket, right? So, this game, like, I can guarantee you, if I don't see the enemy team on the map, I just walk off, I'll be fine. I don't need wards. I don't need to play around vision. I know wh what I see, and I'll just react on it. If I go Red Trinket, I can delete the wards off of the map. So, I can delete the vision of Cho'Gath away from the side lane, um, which will... Uh, allow me to actually catch him. Let's see. Dragon is spawning, so it's better to be top lane. Wait a second. I'll push this out, because I'm too late anyways. There you go. So, Dragon will spawn in 40 seconds, which means there will be a team fight. 100%. That Dragon will make a big difference. Twitch is already pushing top lane. So, what is the damage? <laughs> Yo, man, that's my, uh, that's a good chunk of my HP bar. But yeah, like, Dragon will spawn in 20. Top lane is pushed in. Unfortunately, no one shows top lane. I hope it will happen, though. Let's see if we can run up here. We're gonna go for a team fight. We can't go top anymore. As we would have to walk a lot. <clears throat> I'll stay around this side, so I'm not gonna walk in deep in the jungle. Because I want to be able to push the next wave that arrives. So I'm gonna ping them back. There you go. I'll take the wave. And then we go back in the jungle again. This is very important. Uh, my teammates are not supposed to team fight. But I don't think it matters. I'm Aatrox, so I can 1 versus 5. That's what but that's what the champion does, right? I did 1000 damage on Soraka. <laughs> it's such an unfair champion. 1000 damage. <laughs> what a joke. I have like almost 4000 HP and I'm just doing 1000 damage with one press of a button. Sounds fair. Got to give you that reminder we're playing Aatrox. We got tower two. And we got this one. And we got this one. Okay. And we are f we are fully maxed out. And I'm actually thinking about going for the garage or going for um I'm going for this one. There you go. So, I don't typically build... Uh, I don't typically build Grudge anymore. It's been a very long time since I've actually built it on many champions. Not just Aatrox, I don't still build very often. There's so many OP items out there right now. But I think that this game... I can do like 1300-1400 damage with one Q now. And delete them instantly. We'll see if we can. Oh, they can start Baron. We 
We just have to be very patient. I'll just go one versus five. I don't care. I'll go one versus five. Oh, this guy's trying to outplay me. <laughs> Get arena players. Get arena players, guys. Don't underestimate these people. They will outplay you. Or at least they will try to outplay you. Oh, my combo doesn't hit. Imagine if it hits. Imagine. Okay. 725. I got my ult in like 5 seconds. Terrible ultimate. Eh. Okay. That CC is kind of annoying though. I'm actually not able to land my ultimate. The enemy team is just playing so safe. Yo, let's go. No, my pants is flying away. No, I got the Panta! I have another Panta again! <laughs> Yo, but I'm getting so many Panta kills in my videos. <laughs> hey, either way, this is uh, Aatrox Top Lane. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.